Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a video about how to take care of your own lizard. So let's get right into the video. First step, feeding. You have to feed it live crickets or grasshoppers or mealworms or superworms or dubia roaches or whatever you want. Uh, it is water. Shadow right here is Piggy with his water. He only likes it, he'll only drink it, I've only seen him drink it ever from the top, from on the top of his hut. So, if you catch your lizard from the wild, you're probably gonna want to put a plant in the cage and dribble water on top of the plant that he will drink from it or dribble water on the side of the cage. He would drink from that too. But for the first time, just dribble water anywhere. For the first few times, you can probably just dribble water anywhere that can collect water and see which one he drinks from. And whichever one he drinks from, that's the one you should put water in. For Shadow, it's the top of his hut. And third, if you catch an, a pet animal from the wild, I would suggest not to handle it unless you're going to take it out of its cage to clean the cage. Other than that, try to handle it as less as you can. Don't handle it unless you have to because they really don't like being handled when they're caught from the wild. It's just, yeah. Animals aren't the best lizard to have if you want to handle it, but if you just want an easy little pet to watch, but you don't really want to handle it, then an animal's for you, but if you want a lizard that you can handle, you're not gonna want an animal. Now this I learned from experience. If you have an animal at first, I was just going around catching mosquitoes and little jumping spiders and hoping he ate them. But I honestly don't think that's the best way to go if you're taking care of an animal. I think you should feed them the feeding options I told you earlier. Crickets, grasshoppers. Crickets and grasshoppers, you can pretty much... You can find crickets at the store and grasshoppers and crickets are actually, they, you can find them in your yard or around the neighborhood. Even if you have never seen a grasshopper or a cricket before, they're always somewhere. And if you have never seen a grasshopper or a cricket before, stop watching YouTube and go outside and play. So yeah, another thing is the gender. From my experience, this is just my experience. I don't know if it's actually true, but what I've observed is female animals like Shadow and like Leafy are easier to take care of. They're more chill. They're, they're better adapting to captivity, but the males, the once or twice I've caught a male, it was crazy. Like it would, it would just, every time it saw me walking past, it would literally scramble around and trying to get out of the cage and climbing on stuff and knocking over trees and, well, not real trees, fake trees, of course. Males aren't that strong, are they? But, um, yeah, they're crazy. And then, uh, Emma Nade had a male once, and we put two grasshoppers and a cricket in its cage. And it was days, and it didn't eat any of it. So, I would suggest catching a female rather than a male. Oh, and also, if you're thinking about catching a leopard gecko. I mean, not leopard gecko. What am I saying? Leopard geckos live in the desert. Most of y'all 
probably don't live in the desert. I meant to say house gecko. Anyway, so if you're planning on catching a house gecko, the animals are better because house geckos, the few times I've caught house geckos, I've caught like a few house geckos in my lifetime and I put them in their cage, but they, I had them for a week or a few days and they didn't eat anything I put in there. So they aren't good at adapting to captivity. And baby animals, if you're really trying to take care of a baby animal, then you, you would, I would rather you take care of an adult because the babies, they're really hard to feed and they don't sell little tiny weeny pinhead crickets at the store, at least I don't think. They might at your pet store, but they don't at mine. And so you're gonna have to find something small enough or, and I don't know, I've just, last time I caught a baby animal, it didn't do well. I fed it the smallest crickets I had, but Nope, we had to let that one go. Anyway, so, so yeah. With cage size, you're gonna want at least this big. Here's my hand compared to it if you want size comparison. So that would be good, small enough for, I mean, that would be the smallest probably you could get I haven't searched it or anything. I, that's just my opinion. You could search it, it might be different. I don't know, maybe Leafy was kept in too small of a cage, but she survived and that's all that mattered. But eventually we let her go for Spike to move in. So didn't we need he? something to climb on and Shadow's cage. Um. Mine's all the colorful things. The colorful things are just things we added. But Shadow's Cage is an example of a perfect cage for an animal. Minus the sticks. He doesn't use those. I don't know why they're there. Doesn't make a difference. And yeah. So this is an example of a perfect cage for an animal besides for the colorful sticks. Anyway, so that's my opinion on how to take care of your own lizard if you want to catch one in your backyard or something or the ones different types of lizards than animals that you buy at the pet store would de would definitely have a lot of different needs don't apply this video to bearded dragons and leopard geckos and all of those things. This video is only how to take care of an animal. Nothing else, okay? Don't apply this video to anything else except for animals. Bye, guys.